Hey nerds, what's up? So it's been a little while since I've given you all a board game shelf tour, so I thought that I would kill two birds with one stone and do a little bit of reorganizing while also showing off all our board games. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you nerds might have noticed is that we went from having two bookshelves to a total of three bookshelves. So we have lots more rooms to hold all of our games and get a little bit more detailed and organized until, of course, we fill up the cubes even more with more and more board games. But for now, because we have so many extra cubes, I can really go into the nitty gritty of what cubes hold what type of game or genre of game or theme of game. So I'm very excited to get to organizing. You might also see that there are some fiddly bits cards, Rubik's cubes, and some other miscellaneous stuff, including play mats. So I'm hoping to also organize those as well. You might also notice that I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing in my first ever board game tour for you guys. And I thought I would bring that nostalgia back. So some of this I think is gonna be obviously easy. For instance, we have Scythe with all the base board game, the two expansions and the story mode or campaign game of Scythe. So I think those will remain as one group. And then we have like all of the root, which will fill up a cube in on its own. Um, same with Wingspan. But then we have some other games, for instance, that's pretty clever, which is like a dice rolling game, which I think could go really well with Yahtzee because that's a dice rolling game. We don't have a ton of dice rolling games, like just dice rolling games, so we'll see if that stays as one category or if I put them um, with other things. Okay, so we have the main gist, I would say, of the piles. I have Scythe, I have Dune. I also have Race for the Galaxy with Dune because I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a science fiction route. Um, over here with Seven Wonders Duel, I have two player games only. Uh, King of Tokyo, so this like line right here, I'm not sure what to do with yet. I have just the two dice rolling games, Yahtzee, and that's, very, that's pretty clever. Here I have Photosynthesis and it's um, expansion, but that one's alone by itself because over here I have Azul along with uh, parks and trails and Arboretum because that's kind of what I did before which was like a nature themed but Azul is also aesthetic which is very much what parks is to me as well. So I'm still kind of debating what to do with that. I have all of Root together. I have Wingspan all together. Here I have kind of like fantasy Thing of like Splendor, Quartz, War Whispers, and the Lord of the Rings games. Then I have two up here that I'm like, oh, I don't know, Red Rising could go, fant uh, not fantasy, sci-fi slash fantasy, Discover is kind of a campaign-y storytelling kind of thing. We have Battleship and a Star Wars catchphrase, I think, or trivia. Over here, I have a lot of fantasy themed games as well. So I think that's what I'm going for. Um, but I also thought of, so here on the bottom, I have Temporum and Temporum is all about time travel, which trekking through history could work really well with that. You can see that I'm kind of like, oh, this could go this way or this way. Then I have kind of the classic section. So I think Settlers of Catan is a good classic, Carcassonne, Corridor, Mancala, Jenga. So I think those are good classic-esque games. Um, I have Ticket to Ride and Pan Am, which are traveling themed. I have Seven Wonders and The Lost Ruins of Arnak, which I kind of think are just more adventure feeling for some reason. I have also these kind of classics, which might go together. Also the very long kind of stereotypical what board games used to look like. Um, so we have Trivial Pursuit, a chess board, and a Pokemon Master Trainer. Then we have Tainted Grail over here, all of Dominion. I have Pandemic by itself right now. I have a spooky, a spooky category, and then two other ones that are very much 
I don't know where to put them, which is Dream Home, which is very cute and aesthetic, and as well as Pantone, so that's more aesthetic. So I have some aesthetics, I have some fantasy themed, I have nature themed, so I'm just trying to figure out what goes where, as well as right here, this little stack is like all only card games. So there's a lot to go with, and I think the next step is just gonna be putting them on the shelves and seeing what fits where. You may be looking at this middle shelf unit and being like, Corinne, why haven't you removed anything from here? Well, these are all of my husband's trading card games and old games that he's looking to sell. So he has Pokemon, like all Pokemon cards down here. He has Legend of the Five Rings, uh, Netrunner. We have Boss Monster right here, so don't know if I'll move that. Then we have like an old Star Wars game where you have like little miniatures of... Oh no, well that's not good. Little miniatures of Star Wars ships. And then this is more Pokemon. And then obviously up here, I'm going to organize as well. This is some Pokemon. This obviously, like, that doesn't really fit anywhere stack well because it's Corco cubes. We have some dice, a nail I need to get rid of, Rubik's cubes, card games, player mats, like I said, a the wingspan, cute little bird's nest and a couple of other things. So I'm just gonna work on that as well, but I'm gonna keep basically the trading card games in this little one and put the board games on each side. So I might put, fitting with this card game unit basically, might put like the playing cards, like, like a standard set of playing cards and all the ones that we have. It is time for our official board game shelf tour. So we'll start at the top here. Mm, hello me, it's my shadow. <laughs> so right now we have Temporum and Temporum Alternate Realities Expansion, Trekking Through History and Discover Lands Unknown. So this is like time travel and discovery kind of theme. Down here I have board games or games that don't fit anywhere um, and are oddly shaped. Here I have just Mysterium. You will have seen previously that it was not fitting in the spooky board games section just because it was like this much wider than all the other ones. Down here I have like older games, classic games, as well as the ones that were longer. I wanted to put them at the bottom so that, and into the furthest corner of the room so that people don't trip on them or less likely to trip on them. So then next to it is, I would say, the classic. So I have the chessboard here, Corridor, Catan, Carcassonne, Mancala, and Jenga. Then going up, like I said, it's the spooky board game section with the Night Cage, Betrayal House on the Hill, and Betrayal Legacy, and a fun hunt-a-killer um, board, body on the boardwalk, which is, you know, you take out all of the clues and you write on stuff and uh, things, and it was super fun. Then I have Pandemic, Pandemic Legacy, 
and then King of Tokyo and Enish, which I would say this is like a just based on uh, location section or theme for now because I didn't really have anywhere else to put them. So that's what I did. And speaking of location, I have Pan Am and Ticket to Ride Rails and Sails, which is traveling and also like real world traveling. So that's what that section is. And we just have tapestry. We have been able to fit all of tapestry into this one big box thanks to um, a present I got for my birthday. And it's a really nice uh, organization. So I'll show you guys that in another video. Then we have Tainted Grail, all of the boxes uh, just stacked on top of another. And then like I said, these are the trading card games section. So we have Pokemon, Pokemon, Legend of the Five Rings, Netrunner, more Pokemon, Star Wars game. And then we have this section actually right here, which is our playing cards as well as just card games. So One Night Wolf, uh, Crew, Bang, Boss Monster, Uno, Phase 10, Weave, Ringmaster. And then next to this is an old Pirates game, which I think is kind of similar to the Star Wars game. I could be wrong on that. My husband would have to correct me. Next, we have the sci-fi themed shelf, which is Race for the Galaxy, Red Rising, Dune Imperium with both of its expansions, Immortality and Rise of Ix. Then we have the fantasy section, which is Fantasy Realms, Call to Adventure, Call to Adventure Stormlight Archive, and a Mistborn House War board game. Continuing on with the fantasy slash like olden times kind of deal, uh, we have Splendor, Quartz, and War of Whispers. And then we have another alternate reality sort of section, which is Scythe. Then we have Dominion, Root, and all of its expansions. And then we have kind of the nature pretty section, which is parks with one of its expansions, which is I think the wildlife expansion. Yes. And then this is trails, which is a different related to parks, but not exactly the same game. Arboretum, photosynthesis and its expansion. Then we have seven leader, seven leaders, seven wonders with its expansion leaders. And then we have lost ruins of Arnak with its expansion expedition leaders. Then we just have Wingspan. Then we have the aesthetics, aesthetically pleasing section, which is Azul, uh, Azul Stained Glass of Syndra, Dream Home, and Pantone. At the very bottom, we have two player games and dice rolling games, which are That's Pretty Clever, Seven Wonders Duel, Patchwork, Caper, Europe, and Yahtzee. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this board game shelf tour. And as you can see, there is still room to get more board games. So I'd love to know your board game recommendations down below. Please, please, please let me know. Do you, any of you own any of these board games? What are your favorites? And of course, how would you think you would organize your board games? Would you go by theme, by type of board game? Please let me know down below as well. I'm always open for suggestions. Anyway, it was super fun. I feel super accomplished. I feel super sweaty and I am definitely ready to just sit and bask in the organization that I now have um, for my board game shelves. But anyway, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.